What's up guys, Jariah FIFA here and welcome to another episode of Manchester United All-Star Season 2, Episode Number 22. Now what I say guys, as you can see, the beginning of the day is going to be against Spurs. Of course, we're playing at Old Trafford. And of course guys, this is going to be a really big game, but it's the only game of this episode. And the reason being is that we have a lot of transfer stuff to get to in this episode. We wanted to try and finish it off as quick as possible. Uh, maybe dragging over a little bit into the next episode. So make sure you guys stay tuned for this episode or the remainder of this episode and next episode as well. So what I say guys, as you can see we're going to put against Spurs. It's going to be a tough game because they're looking to definitely uh, you know, break our winning streak at the moment. And of course, the last time around, it wasn't the greatest, but we managed to pull off the 1-0 win. So we need to make it convincing this time and show why we're dominating the league. So we're on 55 points. Arsenal's on 40. Newcastle on 39. And you can see, guys, we're playing a 4-2-3-1 formation. A formation we're not too uh, comfortable with, but nevertheless, we'll see how it fares against Tottenham and their 4-1-4-1 formation. So we're going to jump straight into the action, guys. And you can see Kagawa there winning the ball. It falls to Royce who puts it into space there, splitting the defense open for RVP. And RVP is going to put it back across goal. And Royce is there to finish that one off. Really, the slow, <laughs> the slow roller into the <laughs> near post. I don't even know how that one goes into the back of the net. I know the keeper has to be frustrated because you can't allow goals like that to go in, especially at that pace. But nevertheless, guys, we we'll pick up the first goal in seven minutes. Six goals in our competition for Royce. And he's just been phenomenal this season. So in the 10th minute, we'll push forward, guys. And, of course, RVP to cross this one in. But you can see the defender just getting ahead to that one, clearing it out. And then look at this for a cheese goal, to be honest, guys, in the 28th minute. Uh, take nothing away from the strike from Soldado. It was a good finish, to be honest. But the goal itself is a cheese goal. And one of the reasons why is because of the pass and what happened uh, before the ball actually got to Soldado. You'll see from the replay as well. And hopefully, EA will definitely fix this. But look at this, guys. Look at the pass. And then look at Small in there. He just sidesteps and moves out of the way for the ball to fall straight to Soldado. But we push forward in the 28th minute. Kago to cross this one in, trying to find, uh, of course, uh, Van Persie. And that one goes off the crossbar or maybe even off the upright and going out for a goal kick. A bit frustrating because I thought it would have definitely went in, but unfortunately it didn't. And we go into the half 1-1 one, one apiece. Maybe it's a fair result, to be honest, guys, so far because you'll see from the stats that it was very very even i mean dead even look at the possession look at the shots on target and the shots they didn't have two more shots than we did but nevertheless it's very very even so that definitely showed why uh, i was such an even game and maybe that's the reason why we were one one apiece so we need to do better in the second half trying to do better in the second half but that didn't happen guys and you can see fortune for us in the 76 minute the ball goes out and we decide you know what we need to make a change so we go in and we decide to change the formation and, of course, bringing on some players too as well. So we decide to go with the 4-3-3 attack formation. It's a formation that worked well for us in the past, so we'll see how it works. And we brought on, as you can see there, Rooney, Valencia, and Fletcher. It did work, but unfortunately, guys, they pushed forward, almost getting in, but we managed to clear it out. And we're going to try and counterattack them as quick as possible. Some nice one-two passes, and boy, did it pay off. Look at that pass from Kagawa into yard to space there for Nani. Splits the defense open, and he finished that one off from a angle. Uh, uh, what a handle. Uh, that, that was just such a beautiful goal, to be honest, in the 89th minute. That would do wonders for, of course, his confidence. Because at the moment, it feels like I'm trying to get him out. So hopefully that would definitely help him out as well. And, of course, he can continue performing like that too as well. We need him to. So we can definitely win as much trophies as possible we can this season. But look at that, man. What a finish that is. Outstanding there from Nani. And, of course, he definitely solidified himself as the man of the match with that strike. And just the way he's been playing so far in this game. So we take it full time. 2-1, can't complain too much about it, to be honest. Didn't want to give that goal up, but nevertheless, what could we do? That was definitely something to do with EA and, of course, the cheese they like to dish out in these games. But with that said, guys, we move on into, of course, the stats. You can see there is very even. Uh, six shots for them, three in target. Three fours, three in target as well. And look at the position, very close. And our shot accuracy and pass accuracy was pretty decent as well. But Nani was the man of the match at a 7.6. And if he's a 7.6, you know it wasn't the greatest of performance from the lads. So we're going now into the transfer market, guys. And as you can see there, guys, our first transfer uh, offer that we pick up is going to be on De Gea. And of course, it comes from our rival, one of our biggest rival, Manchester City. So you guys know where this is going, right? This is Manchester City. So there's only one outcome that's going to happen. If they want one of our players, especially uh, a player of this caliber, they're going to have to pay big bucks. So we decided to go for 100 million. And obviously, guys, I am not willing to sell 
uh, unless they're going to pay some big bucks and that's the reason why we went for 100 i'm pretty sure they would deny that and then you can see valencia coming wanted to offer for the hair too as well we decided to go 88 mil and see if they'll go for two as well now if they want him they have to pay for him and that's just the way it is now with that said guys we're going to be moving on and you can see new zealand came in wanted to try and hire me for of course the international uh squad but we denied that and of course you can see Matt almost also pick up an offer chelsea comes in wanted to offer him uh but you know what guys we're just not going to sell to Chelsea they were biggest right one of our biggest rivals in the league and we decided you know give us 158 mil and we'll let you have him obviously they're not going to go for it but if they do we'll come up pretty big with a big smile on our face now City reply back saying of course they're not going to because it's way too much money and that's what we wanted all along so they can move on and in here but they have is a really good asset for us too as well we just can't sell him and of course you can see valencia coming in saying the same as well now we'll pick up another offer for of course you can see the lindy guard from swansea city i thought about it for a while maybe we should let him go and i actually almost went ahead and let him go but i thought about it hey if the hair gets injured we are screwed so we decide we know what we need to hold on to him so for the more time mean we hold on to him unless we get another of course keeper the younger keepers we have at the moment are just not up to par and uh we just have to have a backup so chelsea reply back as you can see there and of course they deny they're going to be paying that 158 158 mil which we really know that we're going to anyway to begin with so now we can finally get rid of all of that and go in and look for the players that we wanted to so there's two players in particular that i would definitely like to get at least in this january transfer window but the main person i need guys and you guys know who it is yes gondogan so gondogan is the one that i'm going for and we're going to go in and of course we're not we don't have time to go in and inquire about or any of that crap we're just going to go straight in and try to buy the player out it's as simple as that so that's exactly what we did we decided you know what let's go ahead and approach Borussia Dortmund form and of course we're going to go ahead and offer they wanted 26 mil form so we wanted to definitely make it happen you can see we don't have 26 but we are 21 and I don't like to use all my money so I went ahead and did 20 mil and then I'm going to offer as you can see there Anderson uh in exchange too as well so money plus player and see if they'll go for it Anderson I thought for a while because you can see he's not doing so great of course um it's moral as well but his form is decent but we decided nevertheless we'll go for him and see if they'll go ahead and of course uh you know accept this offer and uh you know besides he's a center midfield anderson's a center midfield and i think he's a great great replacement for anderson so with that said we went in and uh you know that would be very good we also wanted to add him to our shortlist which we did too as well so we'll see what they come back and say uh hopefully they definitely approve it and we can go and get the deal done but just in case that didn't happen we have one more player we are very interested in and of course you can see we went to barcelona and of course this is going to be alexis sanchez he's just been a phenomenal player i really enjoy watching him play i'm a big fan of his and of course I, of course i i like barcelona too as well so i went in and of course we wanted to put an offer in form but i wanted to wait just in case we go in and then his offer go through and then it stops don gogan so i wanted to make sure i was dotting all my uh my eyes and crossing all my t's so i decided you know what let's go ahead and add him to our short list and of course send him into scouting too as well so that would give us enough time that if the deal for don gogan didn't go through then we'll have time to go in and of course put a bid in for him as well but the good news is guys you can see there Borussia Dortmund did approve of it guys so now we can go in and talk to the player and try and see if we can part him away from of course Borussia Dortmund so with that said he wanted a hundred and eighty thousand pounds or you know a hundred thousand a hundred eighty thousand dollars a week and we decided to bump it up to eighty uh, hundred and eighty two thousand and of course we want to go ahead and put the four year and of course he's going to be a crucial player for us so let's go ahead and send that through uh with the most most respect so with that said guys you can see this is coming to the end of this video. We have the next uh, team that we're going to be playing against. is in the FA Cup against Crew. Make sure you stay tuned and see what happened if we get Gundogan or not. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and peace.